Okay, so I thought I would put up a video and nerd out a bit. Not sure anybody will care about this, but me and some of the physics students watching, but it's fun and you should um, take a look. So I bought a new cloud chamber for our department recently because our old one is kind of fickle at best. This one's much smaller than our old one. Um, about the size of my hand. But for those who don't know what a cloud chamber is, we have this cylinder here and I have ethanol down at the bottom and I have chilled water running underneath this to cool it and it creates this kind of cloud of ethanol there. And what you might be noticing is these streaks that kind of are running through and those are all radiation. Those are cosmic rays that come from space. They're all around us. And way before we had all these, wow, that was cool. Um, all these fancy particle detectors, this was one of the first ways that we were able to confirm that there are um, these rays coming to us from space. So the different lengths of them and thicknesses are, you can kind of tell what kind of particles they are. Uh, got alpha, and that one was an alpha. <laughs> That was definitely alpha. Um, you have alphas and betas and all sorts of other things. So, anyhow, this is just coming from space. But what I like to do is take it up a notch and put in a radioactive source. So I'll take that out and grab my... I have an alpha source, which is lead 210. And... That's what alpha radiation does. It creates these really short, really thick ones. It's just so amazing. So, um, yeah, that's alpha radiation flying through there. Again, it just, it kind of disturbs this cloud and causes it to condense. And then you can see it. That's just so neat. Um, so there you go. There's your science for the day, I suppose. That is a cloud chamber. Thanks for nerding out with me. <laughs> okay.